This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Go to My PC. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best. In this video, I'm going to talk about why we are not going to see the new Xbox or the new PlayStation at least for a couple more years. Now, a lot of people are just still waiting on the edge of their seats to see when it, when is Microsoft and Sony going to announce their new systems. Well, um, I know Microsoft has definitely came out and said they're not going to be talking about anything at E3 this year. I don't know whether or not Sony has came out and said anything, but more than likely, Sony is not going to be uh, talking about their new system at E3 this year. Uh, it's possible, but more than likely not. And, but the main reason I think why is because if you look at these companies when they release a new system, they're automatically operating at a loss. They're losing hundreds of dollars on that new system because they got to make it affordable for the consumer to get. Uh, but these systems cost, you know, probably at, at the jump, if you look at the like the, the, the PlayStation 3, they had a lot of good technology in there, some technology that wasn't really any, uh, even out in consumer products yet. And so basically it's like subsidizing the system, but without a contract. So if you think about, you know, when you go to AT&T or Verizon to buy that latest cell phone, uh, now that's cell phone costs them more they say at least they say it do uh it costs them more than 200 to make that cell phone but they sell it to you for 200 but only if you sign or, or get into a two-year contract with them and they're going to make up the rest of the revenue plus some um over that two years by the plans that you get the data plans the voice plans and all that so that's basically what the companies do with the consoles they expect you to buy a certain amount of games so that they'll cut the price down the console for you but the problem is that game sales haven't really been that oppressive over the past few years they have been on a decline now I know the big games like Call of Duty and Battlefield and Halo, you know, those games will always have a mass following. They, they're going to go out on midnight and buy millions of copies of it. So those games are doing just fine. But some of the games, the sales really haven't been meeting the, the expectations of the, the game companies themselves and also Sony and Microsoft. And also to number two, the probably the biggest um, the reason why the sales have been so low just the pre-owned market so game uh, game stores like GameStop and things like that where they sell pre-owned games they're making a killing they're making pure profit off of that but Microsoft and Sony are losing because they're, that's not a new game so they can, really can't control you know, how people do that now they are trying to control that in one way with the whole online pass I know EA games is doing that with uh, uh, their video game titles where uh, you may go buy that pre-owned game, but you need to buy an online pass for $10 to be able to play multiplayer uh, matchmaking, things like that. And also it's rumored that in the new PlayStation 3, these games are going to be linked to your account. So even though you may try to go sell that game to another uh, to a store or something like that, like GameStop, uh, the other person won't be able to play that game because it's linked to your account. Or they may have to pay you know, something. They have, may have to buy some type of regular game pass, not just an online pass, but a game pass to be able to play that on their new systems. Then also you take a look at the Wii U, which is going to be the new console coming from Nintendo uh, it's going to be coming out first before any new systems from Sony and Microsoft and I, I don't think they feel threatened and I don't blame them the Wii U um, hasn't really been getting that much attention even though they have announced it it really has just gone by the wayside um, I personally haven't gotten my hands on it so I'm just talking from what I see in the media and what they told us what the system will probably be able to do uh, but basically just getting the graphics up to the same level that the Xbox and the PlayStation have been at for years already um, the new control scheme with that whole tablet type of control um, I don't think it's going to be have that same type of result or effect that the Wii remotes had when they first came out. So again, I don't think it's going to be. I don't. I don't think the Wii U is going to be that device. If you already own the Xbox or PlayStation, why would you go get the Wii U? Um, I, again, I'm gonna wait to wait to totally pass judgment until I get my hands on it. But that's just one of the things that I think about. And also, you look at these games that came out this past year. These games are still pretty impressive. I mean, every year the games are getting better as far as the quality of the content and also just the the graphics. They're getting better. So the developers are still finding ways to use these current systems, which are years and years you know behind as far as when they uh, came out. But they're still able to push out some really impressive games. So really, honestly, you don't really need um, a, a new system just yet, unless you just want you know some new features. And things like that which will probably be coming with these new systems but ultimately i think just overall i think we have to realistically not expect these new systems until 2013 late 2013 and above uh maybe even 2014 2015 for the playstation uh, so we probably got a, a few years to wait so enjoy your system uh your system is still good i think we still have a lot of cool games that are uh, slated to come out this year i can't wait for that new buyer shot to come out but we still have a lot of good games to come out so that's just my take on this whole video game and new game console um market as far as where we at right now anyway guys this almost brings it into this video but before we head out here let's gonna take one last look at our sponsor for this video Today's sponsor is Go to My PC, which is an awesome solution for you to be able to control your home computer or your office computer, no matter where you are using your iPhone, your iPad, or another computer by using the browser. So how it works is that you download the software, and also you download the application onto your phone or your tablet, and now you're able to remote back into your computer and actually see everything on the screen just like it was if you were just like sitting in front of it. And just for an example, my last video that I uploaded on YouTube, I actually uploaded that from my home computer while I was about 200 miles away doing some training, and I had my iPhone just on the 3G connection. I was able to 
user go to my PC application, tap back into it, upload it, and boom, there it was for the world to see it. Uh, so this application really does come in handy and it's very, very convenient for tons of different cases and uses. And so you can try go to my PC today with a special 30 day free trial just for my viewers. Visit go to my PC.com and click on the try free button, enter in the promo code soldier, then download a free app to your iPad or iPhone. That's go to my PC.com, try free with the promo code soldier. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below about what you think about these new systems and also to what you expect from them. How do you feel about them trying to lock these games down to the to the certain consoles and not be able to let you sell them and make money off of it or buy pre-owned games and things like that? Anyway, guys, leave your comment down below, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.